is the arsenal. Houses have what? The bullet was shot at the house and ended up going straight through. But in between them, her trusty tumbler, instead of hitting her, the bullet struck the cup. It sparked against the metal before tumbling harmlessly to the ground, saving her life. Man, ain't no way. Woo wee. It's hot as it's hot as heck outside, man. As y'all seen from that intro, I seen a crazy video. People are trying to say these Stanley Cups are bulletproof. Man, as a certified scientist, we gotta test our puppy out there, Buster. We all know, when you do a science experiment in school, you have to have three variables, right? So we got three variables today as well. Boom, we got the PSA dagger, magnum minimum, and a 99 millimeter. I mean, nine millimeter. This bad puppy out here today. We got the sugar weasel 556 five, out here today. Our last variable, we got my MP5. When I seen this video, man, I was just purely amazed. Although it did say it went through somebody's house, I still gotta see if this thing can ricochet a bullet or not. And just to be safe today, I brought me a little piece of body armor just so this puppy doesn't bounce back and hit me. I'm gonna put this like right over my heart or something. You have to hold it there while I'm shooting, but hold this puppy right here so I'm protected. Stand behind this tree right here. And man, I got, look at this safety vest I got on today. There is nothing stupid going on today, buddy. Only pure science. Before we get into this science experiment, I am gonna put a couple rounds through everything. Make sure everything's firing just right, just so we don't have any messed up science results. Now that we've seen all the guns are working good, got that bottle set up, and we're gonna shoot that puppy. Starting with a little 22, we're gonna see, can it, you know, work its way up? Let's see what this puppy does, man. I hit it. I hit it. Oh no. These lion mother truckers, dude. This bottle couldn't even stop a darn old 22. All right, maybe. Maybe because the 22 is going so fast. Maybe that's why it went through. Let's shoot a nine at it. Let's see if maybe it'll stop the nine. All right, it may have not stopped 22, but I'll give 22 something. It's probably got speed. But I'm a science man. I gotta see if this little water bottle can stop a nine mil, bruh. I guess it would help if I had the freaking mag in, huh? The first one. Bruce Tugan, gosh darn it, man. Guys, it's just looking like these guys are liars. But on this channel, we are true scientists. We're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna shoot it one more caliber, man. We're gonna see, maybe, maybe 5.56. Five, maybe it's a little bigger, a little slower, a little more powerful. Got some green tips loaded in. I missed. Okay. <laughs> I definitely hit it that time. <laughs> Holy moly, I apologize in advance. I know I knocked it over and then I hit it again, but oh my God. <laughs> I sent that puppy flying. Let's check her out. Bro, where did I even hit? Look at this thing. This puppy got destroyed. Wait a minute. Y'all hear that? Sounds like there's something in here. Let's check it out. Nope. Nothing in there. Thought maybe there'd be a bullet. But. All you can do is just see everywhere where the bullets came through, but. Oh! After getting home and uh, checking out the bottle, I actually did find the tip to one of those green tips. Pretty cool. As a man of science, it ain't never ever fun for your hypotenuse to be wrong, but 
Hey, I would be lying if I didn't say I had fun, man. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you want some more science videos or whatever kind of videos, man, let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys for 15, 1,500 subscribers, man. Man, the love has been great. Keep liking, subscribing, and sharing, whatever.